episode of Foodies and Spice. My name is Gina. And just before we start making one of my favorite things on planet Earth, we are going to go to China. Now in China today, we are going back to Yiwu Market to see some of the things I shopped in Yiwu Market. But after that, we are back here and let us make that thing that someone once told me will grow from my head because I eat it too much. Okay, so time to go call your friends, family, brother, sister, papa, mama. Foodies and Spice is about to start. So it is time to go to Yiwu Market just before we went to Shanghai. The market in Yiwu has not ended. We left our five-star hotel packed for the bus ride to Shanghai. But we decided to shop at Yiwu, arrange for shipment before we leave. They put it in the container and ship it to Nigeria. You have a company to do that? Yes. So can you give the contract? Yes. For the shipping company. Yeah, the shipping company. PC? Yeah. Uh, can you give the, the contact person of the shipping company? To so who? Uh, from your warehouse to Nigeria. Yeah. And uh, our company needs. Okay, 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 I'll do that. PC will do that. Okay. okay. We always wanted to get the twins toy cars. So me and Babai Beji went car shopping. As Mama and Babai Beji, we always buy in twos. From buying two toy cars, we started on buying school supplies, water bottles, school bags, school shoes, and of course, not forgetting to punch the calculator to be sure we have not exceeded our Naira budget. Okay, I also shop for myself. Bye bye, BJ, we pay. We continued buying. Not forgetting to stock my kitchen with new utensils, chopsticks, chopping board, new spoons, and sending all of those things we are buying to Nigeria will not be a problem at all, as the travel agency will help with warehousing and shipping arrangements. Okay, budget exhausted, let us move to Shanghai. Bye! Foodies and Spice, Amazing China is powered by Beijing Wanziang Travels. Hi, Philaholics, welcome back. Shopping was lovely in Yiwu. Don't forget to join them this November for the China tour so you can shop also. Anyway, we are back here and we are about to prepare one of my favorite things for the first time in the Foodies and Spice kitchen. Bread! I love bread so much. Like, I ate it so much. So, tell somebody tell me when I smell say, man, this bread will grow from your head. I see the way it never grows. What I have for it is, of course, flour. I have butter. I have yeast. I have salt. I have eggs. I got milk. I've got sugar and warm water. Now, by the side, I'm going to be doing a strawberry jam. Strawberry was one thing I really, really loved eating with bread growing up um that's strawberry jam so i can teach you how to just make simple one in your house here yeah? we have old videos of jams here and there on my youtube channel um, www.youtube.com slash but i'll just be showing you something simple that you can always use as jam for your bread and of course do you eat bread like that no I've got bon vita. Yes, so this bread will be going down with bon vita today. So time to go and still call your friends and family in case they have not gathered. Foodies and spices about to start cooking.
All right, welcome back. So I'm making use of my stand mixer. If you do not have a stand mixer, this thing you can do it with your hands. Yes, you just need to knead, 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 knead with your hands. You may have seen me knead some things before on this program. So if you do not have a stand mixer, it doesn't stop you in any way from making bread. Make use of your hands and knead. Now the reason for my stand mixer is because, of course, it's a machine. It's easier. Okay. All right. So I won't be standing here for so long. Okay. So I have um, warm water. I'm going to be adding approximately 120 ml if you have the 120 ml mark. And if you do not have the 120 ml mark, probably, let's say, half cup. Let's start from there, okay? So that's about half cup. I'll pour in about one tablespoon of yeast. I'll give it about one tablespoon of sugar. Now this is just to allow the yeast work. I'll mix. I will allow it rest for about 10 minutes. Yeah, before I start adding any other thing. All right, for the olives, this looks good. I want to bring it out from here. And I'll move this a bit. Okay, so our yeast is well proofed and the next thing I'll add is milk. That's about three to four spoons of milk I have in there. The next thing I'll add is sugar. I'm adding about one quarter cup of sugar. Then the next thing that goes is about two and a half to three cups of flour, but let me do like two and a half. This is fine. And we'll begin to mix. Okay, you should have a very like sticky consistency. Now if you don't have that, you are free to add a little bit of water. So let's say like two more spoons of water. So because I'm not kneading with my hand, I'll transfer it back to the machine. So I'll add about that two more spoons of water, just a little bit. And okay, but just before I start kneading it, I almost forgot my egg, so I'll just add one egg to it and begin to knead it. I'll start slowly and begin to increase it. It should knead for at least eight to ten minutes, but before it gets to that point, I'm going to add at least three to four spoons of butter. Let's say three spoons of butter. But I need it to knead a bit first before I add the butter. Okay, so it's just about um, five minutes and I want to quickly add the butter. About three tablespoons of butter. So I'll allow it to knead again. All right, for the holics at this point, this is ready. Very ready. Okay, so it's time for me now to transfer it to a workspace and just mold it for my dinner rolls. Okay, so I just floured my hand so that I can easily pick this up from the bowl. Okay. So this is my bread dough. Very beautiful. So I'm just going to shape it into a ball. 
Okay. I'll half it. I'll begin to share. I'm thinking they are too small, so I could just do them in twos. I'm just tucking them in to form a round ball. So this is one. Uh, I'll take two of this. Spread it out and begin to tuck it in to form a round ball. So I'll do that to everything, yeah? So the next thing I'm going to do now is to line this place with baking paper. And so I'll pick one and drop it here. The second one. Just give them a few inches space. Okay, so I have this very tiny one left, not as big as the rest, but I'll drop it all the same. So you know what to do. You just need to make a circle, a fine one. Make a round mold and drop. Okay, so here is my dinner rolls. The next thing I'm going to do is to cover it and give it time to rise. Say 30 minutes to an hour. Okay, so while we are waiting for the bread dough to proof, I'll quickly work on the strawberry jam. Like I told you, I love strawberries as jam. I love eating it with bread and um, you can make it yourself it's not difficult to make I don't have gelatin today but the syrup from the sugar I'm using just um, strawberry and sugar for this um, recipe the syrup from the sugar is enough to make it look gelatinous <laughs> hey bro too much English anyway go make it look like jam okay Okay, so here I have my strawberries all chopped up. So I'll transfer it to the pot now, add some sugar and start cooking it down. This is about a quarter of sugar. So this is good. And to aid it, I will Add about a quarter of water to. That's fine. Turn on my heat and allow it to cook down till it looks gelatinous like jam. I had to do the cover like this because, because of the sugar. It was foaming and almost pouring out. This looks good and this place smells so nice. Think of strawberry flavor. That's the aroma you can find in my studio right now. So I just, you know, mash it a bit. Just mash it a bit. So we'll still find just a streak of strawberry in it, but not chunky ones. So it's beginning to have that gelatinous look because of the sugar. So we'll allow it to cook till it's 
reduced completely. Yeah. So it's ready now. I'll begin to remove this uh, whitish or foamy part from it. Now I'm not throwing it away. I'm going to lick it. But just so your jam is looking fine. I know when they are making jam, they just remove the stock. So right now, while removing it, I've put the I've put the heat on low. So it's just simmering. So the foamy part removed. Our strawberry jam is ready. This one, I'm going to lick it. Like I'll sit down and lick it very well. This one is the jam for the bread and any pastry that you want to make. If you just want to add um, jam in it, your donut, you can use it as a glaze, anything you want, okay? So, here we go. Strawberry jam ready. Time for us to check on our bread. It has gotten to like an hour now. I'm just going to use egg wash on it. Then before I start baking it in a preheated oven for about 20 minutes. Strawberry jam is tastastic. Lovely, amazing. Uh, sweetitious. <laughs> okay. So it's just time for me to pour my jam into my jam bowl. And this is it, you can see. It's gelatinous already. There's no need for you to add gelatin to it. The sugar syrup just makes it work. So this is it. I'll cover it and send it to my fridge. All right, guys, so my bread is here. It has risen to like twice the size and it took about an hour, 10 minutes. Yeah, an hour, 10 minutes to rise. So I already have um, my oven preheated. Then I have this egg wash, egg here. It's not egg wash yet. Yes, yeah, so I'll just take, I'll take my spoon. Okay, I just did a whisk. Now just smear it on the bread. Now this is for the bread to have that golden top. So I'll send it to the oven to bake on like medium high, medium high heat for like 20 minutes. Okay, so to make my bread look really good, this is beautiful. It smells really, really good. I'll just smear some butter on it. This is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful bread rolls. So you do this while it's still hot. So the, the butter just melts on it. Bread ready. Time to plate, but just before we plate, let's see how. Okay, I'll place this here. Let's see how it looks like out of the baking pan. Here it is. All right, for the holics, thank you so very much for always coming here to watch me every time I'm on your TV screen. I'm really, really grateful. Thank you so much. And for those of you who still take the time to go back to YouTube to watch and catch up on anything that they missed, you are the real MVP. Thank you all so much. So today again, I'm reading from YouTube. Yes. And um, I've got um, Vanessa Shigan. Um, Vanessa Shigan is um, commenting on the Chinese dumplings we did last week here. Yeah. So 
Vanessa says, wow, happy to be first. I always enjoy your recipes. Thank you so much. Some of you just have already clicked on the notification button. So whenever I just drop a video, you get notified and you rush down there to watch. Thank you so much, Vanessa. Nkiru Egbuje says, sorry to pull you back, but the honey and mustard sauce, how did you prepare it? Now that's from two weeks ago where I used the honey and mustard sauce, I think for the um, chicken wraps. Yes, that was bought. I told her I did not prepare it. I bought it from the store and just transferred it into that um, container um, Nancy Uche says amazing China wow mouth watering meals thank you so much Nancy Nancy is always following me in all my social media platforms everywhere she's there I'm truly grateful I have taken note of you and um, you are my number one for the holly thank you so much Chobodo Undi say I'm here on time thank you so much Chobodo Joy Nancy Rapper say nice thanks for sharing sis thank you all so much I appreciate you now back to our China gist today I went shopping again in you now this time I went to buy things for myself things for the kids and you know it was really lovely shopping shopping is good anyway so that's why i'm encouraging you please if you want to shop if you want to do bulk business big business china is one place you can do business those who can take you there and help you with all your shopping and shipping and the rest is beijing was then travels so you just call these numbers on the screen right now or email them check out the website and send them messages tell them exactly what you want to go do though they are taking people on a tour but you have um some days out of that tour to shop it will be a very beautiful experience for you thank you all so much that said i love bread so much so let's go and complete this bread all right Mwah. Alright guys, this looks very amazing, like my bread rolls, you can either use it for breakfast or dinner, it's very beautiful, and my strawberry jam, looks so beautiful and the aroma it's giving here, think of strawberry, yeah, flavor, okay, it's beautiful, so I arranged some of the favorite things I like to eat bread with, I have sardine here, how many of you like bread and sardine, yeah, all the house people, yes, we know you guys, yeah, so bread and sardine is here, butter is here, and of course, bon vita, it's really, really lovely, so I'm just going to open my bread up, and that jam, you can see it, as it cools, it becomes very, you know, like jam, okay, so I'll just add it. Okay. Just cover it and I love bread and strawberry jam. That said, we are still on next week, same time, same station. Okay, I love you all so much. Try and repeat what I did. Send me pictures and I'll always celebrate you on social media. If you are not following me on Instagram, please do at Gina Foodies and Spice on Instagram. Facebook, Foodies Spice. YouTube is www.youtube.com slash Gina Ehikodin. That's where you watch everything that we have done in case you miss it. I love you all so much. Time to drink my bone vision. <laughs> 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 